everyone welcome to my channel so we're gonna pull some cards for you guys and see what messages the universe has for you we're gonna look into your person your situation also when I was pre shuffling for you guys I felt some of you guys are infatuated with someone I kept seeing the devil card so I feel like you're infatuated some with someone or someone's infatuated with you but this person has pulled back they became distant for some reason and you may be waiting to hear from them. Okay. So we're going to see what's going on with that. Like, I really kept seeing the devil, like, so many times. I'm like, why is the devil card coming up? Um, and some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? What is going on with their person? Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. We have insecurity, controlling, holding on to something. I'm telling you, I felt you guys like literally either you holding on to someone or someone holding on to you because they felt like you were getting away or you felt like this person is getting away from you, but you're really like in love with them. And so you're not quite sure what's going on with this person and why they're not reaching out and communicating with you. This person could be pulling away. We have the King of Pentacles. So some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. This person could be focused on money and security and their stability. Um, but, you know, for the most part, the King of Pentacles is a family man or woman. Okay? Cards are not gender-based. Um, so if this person is pulling away from you, more than likely there's a third-party situation or they're just focused on money. Look at that. I'm telling you, I felt it. I'm like, okay, when I was, I didn't see this card a lot, but I saw the devil and I saw the fourth cups and it was like, you guys were feeling like you were going to have a missed opportunity with someone because they, they ghosted you or they pulled away and you have no clue why this person stopped talking to you. What is going on with them? You don't know if it's you, you don't know if it's another situation and they're just not telling you about it. Like, this is what I was picking up for you guys when I was pre-shuffling. So we have ghosting, elusive, no closure. So I feel like things aren't over between you and this person. I do feel like they're going to resurface. They're going to reach out to you. But it's like you want to know like why it even happened to begin with. And like why would this person do this to you and not say anything? Like if they was going through something, you know, they could have had the decency to say, you know, I'm going through something right now. They could have texted you, reached out and said they're going through something. And, you know, whenever they can get a chance, they'll talk to you. But I don't feel like this person did that. And this is why I feel like you guys were worried. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. Sudden action, arrival, being swept off your feet. Yep, I feel like someone is coming back in. Now, didn't I tell you this person's going to resurface? Like, I feel like somebody ghosted you guys, right? Not everyone. This is re this reading is not going to resonate with each and every person out there. Philadelphia for the next seven days. Tuesday. Alexa, relax. Cut the music. Like, did she just... Hold up, guys. Let me unplug this. Because Alexa be tripping. When I want her to talk, she won't. Like, seriously, I was having problems with Alexa, the lights, the alarm system, and everything all weekend. Now, all of a sudden, I started doing a reading, and Alexa wanted to talk to me. Like, really? <laughs> I can't do. Okay, so anyway, I apologize, guys. Um, so we have the Knight of Swords, sudden action, arrival, being swept off your feet. And then we have ghosting. So I feel like this person did pull away from you. And then it's like they didn't say anything. You don't know what the hell's going on with them. You feel like everything was good. And then they disappeared. They're coming back in. Could be an air sign that you guys are dealing with, some of you. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person? in their situation what is the person up to let's ask spirit what is this person got going on here spirit why did this person go to the collective why did this person go to the collective not elective? spirit why did this person go to the collective two of swords stalemate indecision choice between two so this person is dealing with someone else and they're trying to figure out how to i don't feel like this person wants to leave you alone they're trying to figure out how to be with you and how to be with someone else i feel like someone was probably on their heels they may have brought up a conversation with them about them not spending enough time with them or something like that 
And so this person had to pull away from you, especially if they're living with someone or they're married. I feel like somebody was complaining. Like, you know, you're always out. I don't ever see you, you know. And when I do see you, you don't give me no attention. I feel like they live with this person. So something came up with them and another person with the two of swords. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collector's person? Why did they ghost them? Why did they pull away? Why did they become distant? Why did they stop talking to them? Hmm. The star card, this card just sort of like spun around in a circle. Um, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or it's like they don't know how to handle this. They're losing faith in the situation because I feel like you may be requiring something from this person and then whoever else they're dealing with is requiring something from them too. And so they're like confused to a sewer. It's like, how do I make this work? This person's manifesting you. They want you back. It says, want you back, moving into alignment. Yeah, they're coming back around. They feel like they have some making up to do or an, up, some, an apology is coming from this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective person? What are they up to? What is going on with them? Why did they pull away? Spirit, why did this person pull away? Nine of Cups, wish, wishes coming, true, happy, and fulfilled i don't even like the way that's worded like what the hell wish is coming true happy and fulfilled but um with the nine of cups energy i feel like this person is thinking about the situation with you guys and like you do make them happy but i feel like there's a situation that they're in they may live with this person they could be married to this person have children with them however it's like they felt like they had to pull away from you to quiet the storm with someone else because i feel like a storm was brewing with them and someone else and they weren't telling you this person could have been arguing with them they could have even threatened to put them out or something maybe they said you know you don't be around so like why be around you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you're never here you we never go any place we never do anything and so they felt like maybe they needed to sort of quiet that storm and they may have felt like they couldn't tell you about it. Yeah, we have dark night of the soul, emptiness, disconnection. If whoever they're living with, they don't feel anything for this person. I feel like they'd rather be with you. They see you as their happiness. And I feel like this other person knows that they're happy somewhere else. And they're trying to get them to come in and to be with them and show them more love and attention. But I just don't feel like your person is feeling it. Um, some of you could be dealing with the King of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It says, take charge, born leader, wants it all. This person sees it all with you. And I feel like they're trying to pull away from this other person, but there's children involved. There's something involved. Maybe that's where they live at. And maybe their financial status is not great. Or, or good enough for them to just pack up and leave. This person feels stuck. Spare what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? For some of you, this is their baby mom that they're living with, and it's like they're trying to keep they try to keep things cordial for the kids. Yeah, but there's conflict. The five of wands, bickering, conflict, opposition. It's like they try to stick around with this person for either the sake of the kids or until they can get from under this person's thumb. I feel like maybe whoever this is, um, they may have the money in the relationship. Okay. Or they may have the power, however you want to see that. Um, and I feel, look at this person. Look, they're angry. they <laughs> <laughs> it's like they don't want to be with this person. They want to be with you, but they don't know how to do it. They feel stuck with someone that they're not in love with. Yep, cold as ice. And you could tell inconsiderate behavior, giving you mixed signals. I feel like this person is giving you mixed signals because they're trying to figure out something with whoever this is, right? Um, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of drama, um, and I feel like they go through tower moments with this person all the time and they hide it from you, but you notice it because you notice it in their attitude 
And like when you guys are talking, it's like one minute this person may be nice to you and then the next minute they're mean and you're like, what the hell is going on? Like, we good. I know it's nothing wrong with us. We not arguing. But it's like they have something going on at home. And I feel like it's too much to open up and to discuss with you. And so they could be holding back on that information. Well, these two cards just slid, right? Oh, three cards slid right out. Six of Pentacles waiting. And we also have the Six of Cups. So we have Six of Pentacles, generous, fair, and balanced relationship. This is what they want with you. But it's like they're keeping you waiting because they have to figure something out with a situation where they've been in it for a long time because the six of cups is here we have waiting feeling of neediness hopeful they'll return yet some of you are waiting on this person hoping that they'll return hoping that you hear from them and i see in this reading that you will your person is not gone but there is another person that they're dealing with they could even be married to this person or maybe they grew up with them known them for a long time maybe they have children and they're trying to move away from this person, but it's not easy. With that Six of Cups energy, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collective's person? What is going on with their person? What is going on with their person? What do they need to know? The Empress. See, they're dealing with someone who is running the show, or at least they think they are. Okay, and I feel like the reason why they think they're running the show is because your person doesn't have their shit together. And so they make your person feel like they need them. And for the most part, I feel like your person, the one that wants to be with you, the one that you're waiting to hear from, whoever they live with or whoever they're committed to, it's like they were underneath this person's thumb for so long and then they met you. And then like their life changed and they see themselves being with you, but they have to get their finances together. They have to figure out a way to walk away from this unhappy situation that they're in. And I feel like this person may say to themselves, well, it's not easy to talk to you about this because the first thing you're going to tell them to do is just walk away, just leave. Like, you know what I mean? But there's going to be a tower moment. They could be trying to avoid that. Um, they may not be able to see the children. They may be just afraid because they've been with this person for a long time. Um, some of them could be dealing with the Taurus, like your person could be dealing with the Taurus. They also see the good in you as well. And I feel like with this Empress energy coming up here, they probably thought that they were never going to find anyone else to take that other person's place they're like oh this other person does this i like i feel like somebody is staying out of convenience and you know maybe they had someone that was looking out for them that was taking care of them and then here you come and they're like oh okay well i don't need to just stay with this person anymore because of that because like they're in love with you and want to be with you but they're like you know i was staying with this other person because they were doing for me i feel like someone got caught up in some sort of situation where it was materialistic or it was convenient for them to stay with someone maybe someone was helping them out financially or maybe someone was just there for them emotionally when they needed it but it's like they don't need it anymore because they're not in love with this person they're in love with you and they want to come towards you but now it's hard to get out of this situation spirit what messages do you have yeah the high priestess a lot of secrets the universe is telling you to trust your intuition Use your intuition. Look beyond what you see. Because I feel like what you see is this person pulling away from you, ghosting you, not talking to you sometimes, right? And then coming in sometimes. And you're like, oh, this person doesn't care about me. They don't love me. But no, I feel like they do. They want this equal give and take with you. They want to be with you. They see you as the nine of cups. But then there's that other situation that they have to handle. They have to take care of that other situation before they come towards you. And what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? What can they expect? Let's ask Spirit, what can you expect from this person? Spirit, what can the collective expect from their person? Oh, these cards are not even coming out. Your person's being stubborn. You can expect the Nine of Swords for some of you. Nightmare situation, sorrow, regret, remorse. I feel like... 
your person is like they're regretting being with whoever this is because it's so hard to get out of it so they're like damn i regret marrying this person or i regret just coming into this connection with them because they had money because they were you know emotionally there for me because i needed someone at the time because now i've met the person that i love i've met the person that i want to be with okay and then now it's hard to move away from this other situation so and i feel like you may be feeling this nine of swords energy as well thinking about your person at night wanting to be with them wondering if they're thinking about you like missing them sort of being angry and mad that they do have someone else in their life i feel like some of you are angry that you even fell for this person knowing that they had someone else but it's not your fault you cannot help who you love you can't you just can't we've all been there before you know you may even say in the beginning when you first met this person like i know they got somebody i am not going to get tangled up with this bullshit <laughs> like i'm just going to chill you know and they're just going to be a friend or whatever and then things start moving forward you start liking them they start liking you you guys see how compatible you are with this person and how you have a good time with them and they're easy to talk to you're easy to talk to and there you have it then you wind up in this nine of swords situation because you're waiting for this person it's like you're waiting for them to make a move and some of you feel like this person will never make a move you just don't know. I feel like some of you may even ask yourself, like, is it time for me to just walk away like to hell with them? Like, if they're not going to make a move, then maybe I should walk away. And then we have the tower. Divine intervention. Unexpected events. Yes, something happened between you and this. Well, I don't feel like something happened between you and this person. I feel like something happened between them and their person. And it's affecting you big time because they pulled away from you and you're feeling this. But they're feeling it as well. They're just not saying anything to you because you have a lot of questions that need answers. But I don't feel like this person is ready to answer these questions right now. They don't feel like they can. Um, Some of them may be embarrassed to even tell you that they rely on this person. They may be embarrassed to tell you how much they actually need this person right now, not love them, not want to be with them, but just need them until they can get on their feet or until they can do better. Because for some of you, I feel like you don't really know this person's situation as well as you think you do, especially for those of you um, who are dealing with someone and you met them online. And they may live at a distance and you don't really get to see this person. So like you can only go by what they tell you. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collector's person? Ripped apart. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. This person is going to come in and talk to you. They're going to, they have something to say to you. It's like they want to explain why they ghosted you. I feel like they even like their conscience is bothering them. They know that you're hurting or you're sad or something. Spirit messages. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio with that tower card that came out. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective person? Yeah, we have the Emperor Aries energy, divine masculine, powerful and authoritative. This person is trying to keep control of this situation. Some um there's a marriage here too because we have the Empress and the Emperor. So I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's married. But like I said, I don't see that they're happy with the person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective's person? All right. Oh, so we have the Hierophant and Justice. Wow. All right. So things are going to balance out between you and this person. We have Libra energy and we also have Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Um, we have soul contract balanced being restored. So balance will be restored between you and this person. I feel like they're coming in and they want to tell you that they're going to try and commit to you. But this is the thing. When I say try and commit to you, they, like you're where they want to be, right? But it's like, I feel like this person can't spend the night. Like you want things like that to happen. You want them to stay the night with you. Like if you got, you want to travel with this person, you want to take trips, but they can't do any of that because they're, in another situation but they don't want it to be that way between the two of you so i feel like they're going to try and work on something i feel like you guys are going to talk about where this is going 
where things are headed. Yeah, this person's taking their time coming in because the next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. They're moving slow, but they're coming. It says taking things slow, patience, stable love. They do love you. So if you guys are questioning whether this person cares about you, they do. Yep, you're about to get some truth and some clarity from this person. We have the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Breakthrough, clarity, and honesty. Because I feel like what's going to make this person come in with this clarity and this honesty is you pulling away from them. Because they're so used to you reaching out like, hey, what's going on? You know, where, where are you at? What you doing? Like, why I haven't heard from you? You're not doing that anymore. I feel like you're fed up. You're pissed off. You don't know what's going on. You're wondering why this person is so cold and, and distant and not talking to you and telling you what's happening. And I feel like, you know, a lot of things that you're thinking is because you're in this nine of swords energy because that's what the nine of swords will do to you. It'll have you thinking shit that's not really happening because you don't really know what's going on. So you get in your head and you start thinking all of these things. And that's not even really what's going on. You may start thinking this person don't care. They don't love me. They use me like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not like that. Unless you actually seen that situation from your person. For some of you, I feel like it's totally different from what you're thinking. But this person won't open up and tell you what the hell is going on. So you don't know what to think. But you're about to get some clarity. And here is the eight of wands. And here's what's the T. Like, yeah. Some of you, it's going to be with a Leo that you're going to talk to or an Aries. Aries. A Leo and Aries or Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Wands here. And like I said, this communication is coming in fast. It says sudden change, rush of love. What's the T? Gossip. Yeah, this person's going to come in and they're going to tell you what the hell is going on with them because they feel like they have to or they're going to lose you. We have the sun card, growth, renewal, joy, and happiness, and love. This person is in love with you. They do love you. They care about you a lot. And I feel like they're sort of embarrassed to tell their story. They're sort of embarrassed to tell you everything. So don't expect for this person to like, you know, go from A to zip and tell you what's going on. They may leave some shit out, right? But I feel like for the most part, because they're afraid of losing you, because they're not in love with this other person, they're in love with you, they want to be with you, they want to see where things can go, they're going to try to come in and, and tell you what's going on with them and be honest, hoping that you understand and that you won't reject them, okay? All right. So we're going to get a couple of message cards, and then we're going to close out you guys' reading. Oh, this card just slid over to the side. I'm trying to like gather the deck. What a catch. Wanting to conquer, fear of losing you. That's what the hell I was just talking about. Like this person fears, lose. they know your worth. They know what you bring to the table and they love you. They're like, why would I let this person go? All right, so let's get some message cards here. Oh, right out of the deck, work. Focused on work, working hard and long hours, love at work. I feel like you have thrown yourself into work because you haven't spoken to this person. You don't know what's going on with them. So you're trying to keep yourself busy. So what messages do you have for the collectives? We have the star card, renewed hope, a bright future, doing the healing work. Some of you are healing from a situation and you may even say, I don't want this person back, but they're coming. They're coming to talk to you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or you're dealing with someone who ha who's a public figure with the star card. They may be in the public eye. They may be, have a lot of following on social media or subscribers on YouTube. A lot of people may look up to them. We also have sex. Bond filled with lust. Acting on sexual desires. Love or lust. So you may be questioning, you know, does this person just want me for sex? Or, or like, what the hell is going on? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know about their situation? Oh, look. Time to tell y'all. Love offer. Sincere offer of love. Romantic gift. Expression of love. New cycle. New beginnings. The end of a cycle. Making a fresh new start. Spare what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their situation? Yep, somebody was keeping you a secret from someone else. 
Secret love, admirer, moving in silence, more to be revealed. I'm telling you, this person was keeping you a secret, but they don't want to keep you a secret. I don't feel like they want to keep you a secret anymore. I feel like they're saying like, screw it. If I have to go through this tower moment with this other person to be with this person that I love, then I'm just going to go ahead and do it. We have addiction, bad habits, addicted to sex, drinking, etc. Destructive behavior. Some of you, your person could have like an alcohol drinking problem. They may smoke a lot. You know, they have some sort of addiction here that may be holding them back as well. Maybe they're getting help for that. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives? Let's get one more. I said let's get one more. And like a thousand cards just flew out of the deck, guys. I'm going to take all of these. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to take some of them. trying to get these cards together i apologize all right so we have closed heart unavailable avoiding intimacy emotional burdens and then we have engagement commitment promises making it official marriage is in your future and then we have wedding seeing a future with you taking it to the next level they choose you this person has already chosen you right they're just trying to figure out how to get out of this other situation that they feel is just not good for them but they're so stuck because of history. They have a lot of history with that person. You know, the other person's familiar. They know, you know, what to expect. That person knows what to expect out of them. But I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith towards you and jump off the ledge here because of love. And that's something that I feel like this person has never done before. They've always looked at a situation in relationships with who can I be stable with? Who can I be secure with? You know? And I feel like that could have been the way they grew up. Maybe they didn't have a lot when they grew up. And maybe they just didn't want to be out on the street or something like that. I don't really know the ins and outs for everyone. Everyone's story is going to be different. But just expect to hear from this person and expect for them to explain themselves and, you know, offer love to you and still tell you they still want this. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for your reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.